Uh, hey. are, are you seeing my screen? Uh, yes, there's a wolf. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's expected. Uh, okay, so in, <laughs> uh, so we thought we would just highlight uh, some of the great new features that we've been working on in the Android app over the last quarter or so. So I just launched the app, and here we have the usual Explorer feed with all the different types of cards with uh, content for you to check out. Uh, but so historically, if let's say you didn't want to see a particular card, um, we would allow you to swipe it away, but that's pretty much the only level of customization that we were allowing until now. So now you can go up to the menu over here and you see a customize the feed option. And it's also in every card, you can click a little menu and customize the feed. So over here, you can see a list of all the different types of cards that you could potentially see in the feed. And then you can check to enable or disable the types of cards that you want to see. And also on the right-hand side over here, you can hold down and drag and change the order in which the cards appear for you. So like, for example, suppose I wanted a feed composed only of pictures of the day from comments. I go back and here's only pictures of the day going back in the past, off into infinity. Um, you can make a feed composed of nothing. There's a, a <laughs> No feed. Yeah. Information diet. <laughs> I'll just enable on this day and randomizer because uh, these happen to also be some new things that we've been working on. So the on this day card, uh, the iOS app already has this. And based on the success of that in iOS, we decided to follow up with our own implementation. This is a card That's that should kind of ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just showing pretty much a random event from history on the current day. And it gives you a scrollable list of articles that are associated with this little blurb that you see. Right. And if you tap that, you see a full screen view. And this is all the events dating back to whenever the, the earliest one, the earliest event is. So you can explore events from this day in history in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then randomizer, it's been revamped. So you click randomizer and you're taken to this full screen hmm. activity where you get these random, uh, these previews basically of random articles and you can physically tap and sweat oh. through them. Oh. <laughs> right on. Uh, yeah, so you can swipe to the left and you can actually swipe backwards. So if you oh. feel like you've missed one and you want to Bring it back, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can tell you, I, I've already spent hours doing this myself. These are some really <laughs> great uh, random articles to check out. So, and from here, you can add them to a reading list and like, go backwards and it's a lot of fun. That's the new randomizer. Uh, just one more thing. Let me just navigate to an article. Uh, by popular demand, if you go to font and theme, Wait, We've added a black iPhone? black theme in addition to our light and dark themes. So this is from uh, users of AMOLED displays, right? And AMOLED devices, a black pixel literally consumes no power versus a non-black pixel. So that's power savings. And also a lot of users report that a fully black background is better for nighttime reading. So that's who this is for. Um, All right. Yeah, yeah.